biomechanics research in running uh, may be able to enhance running performance and reduce injury risk. So if we can learn the best technique for running, then we can optimise running performance or improve running performance and also reduce an individual's risk of getting particular injuries. Running performance depends on a wide array of different factors. The main categories of factors are physiological factors to do with your fitness and your ability to deliver oxygen to the working muscles. Uh, then there's a range of anthropometric factors to do with your body composition, your body size, your body mass, uh, its composition, body fat, uh, and also characteristics of different tissues to do with, say, the tendon and their elasticity and recoil. Uh, and then the third factors are to do with the technique of running. So biomechanical factors to do with the way in which a runner moves their body during each and every running stride. Our biomechanics is the mechanics of the human body during running. And obviously your running mechanics, the technique and the movements that you make during running influences both running performance and the injury risk. Running economy is the energy cost of running at a given speed. So if you have an athlete uh, running outside or on a treadmill at say 12 or 14 kilometers per hour, how much energy does it cost for them to run at that particular speed? Well, there's not a lot of concrete evidence available for how to improve running economy, but uh, it's likely that not bouncing too much during the running stride or running reasonably flat uh, contributes to good economy. It's also likely that uh, not braking on impact is also helps to improve running economy because if you brake, you decelerate the body, then you have to use energy to re-accelerate the body. So they're probably two of the more, more common suggestions.